Today is our weekly Should You Build a PC Now video. With things changing all the time with stock and availability, as well as with new products coming out, it's actually pretty important. So is the time now to build a PC? Let's talk about some big changes. Hey guys, Tiago here. So of course this year has been pretty crazy with stock availability. Not only that, we actually have really awesome hardware that came out that people really, really want. First with the NVIDIA RTX GPUs, then of course we have the Ryzen 5000 processors, and of course AMD's own high-end GPU. So normally, while it would be a pretty easy thing to say, just build a PC after these things are all out, we had various stock availability and pricing issues to discuss that have really thrown a wrench into your plans for building a PC. That's why I like doing a weekly video on this subject because so many things have been changing not only with current stock but also with things that are coming out. So let's talk about is it time now to build a PC and let's talk about some of the major reasons why you may want to do so and possibly some reasons why you may want to wait. First, most of the major hardware releases are actually out. The only really major one that's going to be coming out now this month is going to be the AMD 6900 XT. Now this GPU GPU is going to have both the good and the bad. So if you're waiting for this, if you're in the market for a GPU like this, and I think a lot of people at the MSRP of $999 certainly would be interested. The performance is certainly pretty stellar. It's equally nerd beating in many cases, the RTX 3090. Of course, it has less VRAM. It's not going to do it with ray tracing or in many specific scenarios, but in typical rasterization and regular frames per second performance, it certainly puts up impressive numbers. There are going to be several issues with this GPU. First of all, if the stock and availability of the AMD GPUs have been anything to go by recently, we're going to see an extremely limited launch of the 6900 XT. For example, the AMD reference GPUs when they first came out November 18th were available in very, very low numbers. So that launch certainly was frustrating. And then a week later, we were supposed to get the AIB third-party GPUs from AMD from partners such as PowerColor and Sapphire. And then later on, of course, Asus and all those other companies. We have not seen any of those drop yet. And even worse, when we did see the MSRP for these GPUs preemptively, like on Newegg, the price premium was really, really high. And it seemed like it was considerably higher than even the price premium that the NVIDIA third party GPUs have. Some of these GPUs, like for example, the Asus LC that comes with a, a little radiator with two fans, understandably, that's going to be more expensive. But MSRP of $899. That's really high for a 6800 XT. We're not even talking about a 6900 XT here. That's considerably higher than an RTX 3080. And are you really going to be getting that much performance just because of the, the radiators over a $699 RTX 3080? I really don't think so. And that comparison is certainly valid because NVIDIA has been restocking the RTX 3000 series a lot more frequently than AMD has been restocking their GPUs. Just remember, it's still a very difficult and a very demanding launch if you're trying to find one. But if you can't find a GPU, it doesn't mean that stock has been improving. In general, I see from my comments and from people talking and seeing availability in different stores, there certainly has been a lot more stock of the RTX 3070, 80, and 90 going around. Even as we speak now, places are certainly getting restocked considerably more. Even from like EVGA's Q system, stuff that I signed up for a while back, I am getting emails also. A lot of people are also getting emails that are looking for those GPUs. So stock has definitely been slowly replenishing it. I know it may not seem like it if you weren't able to get a GPU, but a lot of people were. So if you have patience and take a look, it certainly is getting better. It's certainly not anywhere near the point where you can go to a store or even online and easily find it, but they are coming in stock here and there. And at least the good thing about the NVIDIA GPUs, even from the ones that people were trying to scalp, they're getting a lot closer to the MSRP. During the initial launch, the price has got a lot more crazy, but now at least everything is a little bit more under control because there's a little bit more availability. So having said all that, that's where we come to the 6900 XT. And if that launch is going to be anything like the previous 6800 and 6800 XT, we can expect it to be very, very limited, especially considering this is going to be AMD's highest end GPU practically ever. And 
not only are a lot of people going to want to get it just because it's AMD's flagship product, but also you can guess that they're not going to make nearly as many of those as they would the 6800. And then the next problem comes if we know the AIB third-party GPU prices of the 6800 XT are already going up to $900, pretty much a $250 premium from the MSRP of the reference GPU. What are the prices for the AIB 6900 XT GPUs going to look like? Previously, we didn't think that AMD was actually going to allow the third-party partners to produce 6900 XTs, but it seems like recently that seems like it's going to happen, so we will see AIB uh, GPUs for the 6900 XT. We can only really guess how much, if even the 6800 XT gets a $250 premium, who knows what the highest end 6900 XTs can get. We can assume at least the same thing, maybe more, maybe 1300. At that point, it certainly becomes a little bit murkier of a price to performance proposition against the RTX 3090. Now, the 3090 is not a good price to performance GPU. If you want that, the 3080 is definitely gonna be the highest performing, best price GPU at around 700 and $750. I would say it would handedly be a better GPU to buy over a 12 hundred dollar plus 6900 xt you're just not going to see that huge performance gain and the nvidia gpu is going to give you other benefits like ray tracing which even on an rtx 3080 will outperform the 6900 xt when it comes to ray tracing and dlss all of those nvidia specific technologies so having said that anyway most people aren't going to be in the market for a 6900 xt but if you are it's going to be a difficult launch anyway what about some other gpus that have been launching recently how's stock going to be of that well the 3060 Ti, which is going to fit into a lot more people's budget, believe it or not, actually had a much better launch than pretty much any other GPU that's come out this year. Even though, of course, remember, I know the launches haven't been ideal. It's still very difficult to find them. Sometimes somebody's experience on Newegg, I tried myself. I wasn't able to get anything on Newegg. It was very glitchy, didn't really show up. But a lot of people did. I mentioned Micro Center. They had over 150 GPUs in stock, which was more than pretty much anything else. And a lot of people were able to get these GPUs online. So that's going to be probably your best bet now in December if you're going to be building a PC. Keep an eye because these GPUs are restocking, especially when something big comes out like a 6900 XT. While that may not be in stock, if the other launches are any indication, sometimes on those launch days, other companies will actually replenish their stock of other GPUs, hoping that the people who didn't get the newest GPU that's coming out will then look to their product to get it, even if it's their second choice. If you can't get a 6900 XT, but they have an RTX 3080 on the shelf. A lot of people may just pick that up, you know, especially being so scarce and finally seeing it in stock. I've seen that happen a lot, not only in places like Micro Center, but also online, you know, like uh, Newegg and even Best Buy. Some of these places will restock on these big launch days. So remember to take a look at other GPUs as well, even if you're not interested in what's coming out. That can certainly mean that you get the GPU that you want. And that's pretty much going to answer the biggest question for building a PC. The GPU is the biggest factor factor aside from the CPU. And the second major item, of course, is going to be the CPU. This is where the story is a little bit better than on the GPU side. First of all, you still have plenty of Intel stock everywhere. So if you want to use an Intel processor and there's nothing wrong, especially over a Black Friday, a lot of them actually had really, really good pricing. And even though that Ryzen 5000 certainly has them beat across pretty much every single metric, they're still great CPUs for gaming. Um, I wouldn't discredit the Intel CPUs at all. I myself have used the 10900K as well as various ones in the past. So if you can still find one and they're discounted on sale now, even something like a 10 850k a 10 700k they may be coming down in price where they're not going to bottleneck one of these new gpus and may hold you over until something new comes out next year and the previous generation ryzen 3000 a little bit funny but most of them have also been sold out people that can't get ryzen 5000 and they don't want intel they've been going for you know the 3900x the 3600 seems to be perpetually sold out at this point as well very popular cpu of course if we talk about the ryzen 5000 stock has been very limited for the higher end SKUs like 5900X and the 5950X, but I have seen the 5600X and the 5800X restock in various places. 
For example, recently a few places seem to get a pretty big restocking of 5600X and 5800X. Some stores, like even Micro Center that I saw, had over 25 5800X. And that CPU certainly is fantastic. It's 8 core, 16 thread. It's going to give you fantastic gaming performance. 450 bucks, so it's pretty close to the price you would pay for some of the higher end Intel chips now. And of course, ideally, the 5900X is probably the sweet spot. I would say if you find a 5600X or a 5800X, certainly if you're gaming, even doing some mild content creation those two are certainly going to be very very capable and then for all of the other components like your case your power supply motherboards ram of course we did just pass black friday some of the best prices would have been around then but keep an eye on the hardware that you want because retailers typically as we get closer and closer to the end of the year into the holidays into christmas they will still discount a lot of these parts so you may see those black friday prices come back not for everything if something's really popular and it really sold well on Black Friday. Sometimes it's going to maintain a little bit higher price just because they really sold out. A lot of the really popular Black Friday items, even like some of the SSDs and NVMe drives, if you take a look now, they definitely aren't in stock. People bought all of the ones that were really discounted, and a lot of them were showing stock coming later in December. So just keep that in mind. The best time probably was Black Friday for certain items like NVMe drives and RAM and things like that. But you may still be able to find really good prices as we get near to the holiday holiday season and all of these items are generally going to be in stock more or less like if you can't find a specific NVMe drive you can always find a different one that's perhaps comparable the demand really hasn't at least reached the point where you can't find that type of stuff the big area of worry here continues to be the GPU and to a smaller degree the CPU as well but even with the CPU you certainly have more choices on the market with the GPU if you don't get something new you kind of have to go for a previous generation which is not really going to give you a very good price to performance so so to answer the question, should you build a PC now? I think, yes, it's probably as good a time as any because or else you're going to be waiting well into next year until stock replenishes. I would just say that the key point here is just keep looking at the specific GPU you want. Be flexible to other GPUs from AMD or NVIDIA check stock if you really need a gpu you're gonna have to put the work in to find these gpus it's not going to be easy it's a little bit frustrating but as we are now at this point in the year it's pretty much what you have to do all right guys thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe for more content like this smash that like button and i'll see you guys on the next video